today we are going to discuss something that people are rarely talk about. Tindi ni ometu lok kopi kom ginara me jo pe maro lo he yetu twal. Being powerless. Bena me teho pe pe teho. What is the meaning of being powerless? Tien kop me bena me du teho ni pe ngu beronga. I will not define it very well but I will give words that are related to it. Chao ke ni paro mo gonya be to twaleta mi loko ga menu chigi kere. Being powerless. Bena me ibena me du teho ni pe means also you are weak. Nyuru ni goro. You are exhausted. Nyuru ni ol. You are faint. Nyuru ni do itide o itide itide will la will la. You are uncertain. Pe do itige no ngwa tie binu. You are unsteady. Pe da do iti chung mot. You are anemic. Itia me remo pe komi. You are fragile. Itia me go rate hate ha. You are defenseless. Itia me gim na ra mo chungi do pe. You are helpless. Itia me ngata ko ni pe. You are disabled. Itia me me bero bala ngata pe ra mo ko ni ke ne. You are sickly. Itia ko me late. You are ineffective. Itia me petit ma be. You are unfit. Itia me no pay pore. You are destitute. No itia me ka do itikita me do pe tung tikita. Maybe you are orphan. You are better than kid or widow. You are better da hoto. O single nyoi bero nya da hameti keni o childless nyoi bero atina me nyoi lipe o atini pe i mean or you are not married nyoi da pe nyo mere and you see like you are hopeless and helpless ite do nene ni geni da do pe da do konyi pe i've come to give you the word of god abino me mi loko ba i've come to comfort you abino me kwe yuchunyi i've come to tell you that you are important before god abino me ko bini piri teng ma te i've come to tell those who can speak for the such people to stand up and speak for them abino me loko ni jo ame tikere do te ho me loko pe jo agoro ni me loko pe gi because god loves them bien no ba amaro gi god loves you the way you are oba mari kita me chekere you may think you are nothing i want to go straight to the word of god ami to woro koy loko ba atira in the book of isaiah chapter 40 e book e isaiah pira ngwenno from verse 28 to 31 ja hai ting pira boro na hai pira the word of god says loko ba ko bani have you not heard ana hani peri winyu have you not known nanga na hai pengi The everlasting God. Obama pera kino na hana. The Lord the creator of the ends of the earth. Rota mo chuo will love this you. Praise the living God. Amen. God is first introducing himself. Obama nu putika nyu take any. And asking you haven't you heard about me? Dia penyini na na hani peri win you copy copy. Haven't you known about me? Peri win you era. Praise the Lord. Amen. This verse continues. Loke tiengiri deme de. Neither faints nor is weary. Obani en peolo kodang pe dong chunye gem. His understanding is unsearchable. En yang gemi du shudo kwedo ginolong. He gives power to the weak. En mi te ho bang ya goro. And to those who have no might. Jo ame pe ge ke te ho. Increase en me do gupugi. Maybe you have no power. It's okay in the pay to ho. He's telling you today. En ti ko bitini. He gives power to the weak. Ni ni mi te ho bang ya goro. Praise the Lord. Amen. And to those who have no might, you increase the strength. You are do pay kere gupu when medigi. Maybe you have no might. Ichao kere pay kere tehaduong. Maybe your voice cannot be heard. Ichao kere do anida do peramu winye. Maybe you are hopeless. Ichao kere do ngeni pe. Maybe you are very weak. Ichao kere goro do ngate. Weak in the body. Igori kum. Weak in the spirit. Igori na hai twin. Weak in your right. Igori na hai twin. Weak in what you have. Igori na hai gini pe. Weak in what you can't do. Igori gino long adu peramu temo. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 30 said Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall walk and not faint or be no what a cup of water maybe you are feeling you are fainting you can let you you need to you need to get again you are feeling you are helpless you need to call but the lord is saying those who wait upon me he will renew their strength 
It is not you who is going to renew your strength. But God will renew your strength. Just wait upon the Lord. Wait a little longer. Don't give up my brother. Don't give up my sister. You orphan child, don't give up. You who is about to lose your marriage, don't give up. You who is Seeing your parent, father dying, don't give up. Maybe you don't have money. You don't have food in the house. But the Lord is saying, wait upon me. I will renew your strength. You will mount up with wings like eagles. You will walk and not faint. The devil is lying to you that you are helpless, that your future is nothing. Maybe that is you, you're a young girl whom some boy has impregnated you and has denied you already. And you're feeling your wall has come to an end. But I've come to tell you the Lord is saying you wait upon him. He's going to renew your strength. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. This point, I would say, it gives power. The second point, point number he has chosen the weak. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27 to 28. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Verse 27. Maybe let's go up to 30. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. And the best things of the world and the things which are despised God has chosen and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are that no flesh shall glory in his presence. God has chosen the weak thing. God has chosen those who think they are helpless. Maybe they are calling you as a fool. Maybe they are telling you your father and mother are no more. Maybe they are seeing you as useless. But I've come to tell you, my brother and my sister, you little girl, God has chosen you. God has chosen you. So that you may not glory in yourself. That you may not glory in your background. That you may not glory in your education. That you may not glory in your husband. That you may not glory in your father or mother. That you may not glory in your children. He has chosen you the way you are. The way you feel you are. He loves you. He has chosen you. Just wait on him. Just look to him. Just trust in him. He has chosen you. He will disapprove the world. He will even disapprove you that you are very important. Before him. Praise the Lord. Amen. God loves you. Just the way you are. I want to speak to somebody out there. You know, people are saying there is domestic violence now. Those who are powerful are stepping on those who are powerless. Those who claim they can have authority over their homes are have, uh, showing their authority over people who think they don't have their homes. Maybe your husband who is making your wife to run up and down. Or you are the one who is taking that orphan child, but you are making that child to look like a, a dog or nothing. God is speaking to you. You who is persecuting the helpless. You who cannot defend the helpless. I want to speak to you this morning. The Lord expects us to defend the powerless. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 8 to 9. 
verse 8 to 9 yeah, boro kera bongwen open your mouth for Me? the speechless yab dogi pijo apera mo lok pirgi kengi in the case in the cause of all who are appointed to die kere na jo adongo ye khanu mir dong toko open your mouth and judge righteously yab dogi we ngol ko patira and plead the care, the cause of the poor and the needy akai te pido pijo ame dong wa goro berisha god expects you to open your mouth oba mir ni lo yab dogi Don't just see that child suffering. Don't just see that woman suffering. Don't just see that boy suffering. Just speak for them. Look piggy. In another version NIV says. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. For the rights of all who are destitute. Pitwera jo adongo jalo ko dum tiam dum Speak up and judge fairly. Loket gi kunu ngalo ko gi kaka. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Jungi twera jo bedo chan. The Lord expects you to help the poor and the needy. Oba miti yini konjo me goro ki de bodisha. The Lord expects you to speak for those who cannot speak. Oba ti miti yini be dog jo me lo ki. And you should do it righteously. E to miri tim mi ki ratira. Don't just come and speak to them helplessly baby, or without a cause baby look at it go pa me dan ko nyepe don this is what the lord expects man gina me wrote to me james chapter 1 verse 27 uh buka yakobo chora shell thing 27 yera bero The Bible says Bible Jacobani He said and Jacobani pure and undefiled religion before ni, God Ni dina bera me chilla bal peye The father is this I bought him you ba papa why nene to care for the orphans Me go cotin ki and widows in their misfortune Kere mon toy shangi and to keep oneself Kere me go her nga na chela chela and stained by the world Ame pe lille kere bal me logo True saving faith provides for those in distress. Larame ten you bero larame mio gina me mite bang jo ameti peho. The religion that God considers. Dinia me oba neno do miro. Is the religion that considers the widows and the needy and the poor. Obero dinia me paro pitin kid kere mon talk. You may praise God like nothing. Iro pa ko ba do nga do nga te. You may trust God. Iro da gen no ba. You may be great. Iro be da te. But if you neglect the poor. E to kai ngire kwera. The widow. E we ko mon talk. And you are mistreating the child because it's a orphan. I dey wu na tin no pe no be You are mistreating, mistreating that woman because it's from a poor family. Maybe you're mistreating that man because it's from a poor family. You are not practicing a true religion. Turn and practice the true religion. That God respects. And uh, Psalms chapter 68. Jabuli pira bishi ala boro. Verse 5. Yeah, like this. Kobukiti. Learn to do what is right. Wonyana meti yugi na meti atira. Promote justice. Neni mio ngolo ko batiro beratie. Give the press reason to celebrate. Mi jo amo dio tien ko melelo. Take up the cause of the orphans. Wanya tien ko majo obero tin ki. Defend the rights of the widows. Chungi monta. Praise the Lord. Amen. Learn to do what is right. Wonyana meti mugi na tiati. And what is right? No adopt yati. Practice and promote justice. Tim gino long me making sure an igname neno ni ingolo ko patira. Be fair when you are dealing with everybody. Kai ting iti ti jo du shun ni ti ti ke gi yora be. We see people in the villages are fighting for land. O tun ni she lo ko jo ti al wen pilo. When you know the truth but you are still fighting for land. Wen ting ya ti ni lo ni kompe me re ti mata. We see people grabbing the properties of the wind. You used to claim you love your brother. You used to claim you love your sister. You used to claim you love your father. You used to claim you love your mother. But now they have gone to be with the Lord. Now you are sitting as a boss in the houses. And you are looking at their children as slaves. As helpless. What kind of person are you? Why are you grabbing that land which does not belong to you? The Lord is saying you should promote justice. The Lord is saying you should walk right. 
Respect the widows. War monta. Respect the orphans. War Respect that woman. War dahono. She may not be educated. Don't be the poor one. But God loves her so and much. And God is going to rise to defend her case. My sister, God is going to rise to defend your case. Just stay and wait upon the Lord. Just stay and wait upon the Lord. I want to give this few examples of women who are suffering. But God rose up to defend them. I want to bring the story of Esther. Because of time, we are not going to read it. She was an orphan girl. And the uncle decided to take care of her. And did not mind about anything but took her as his personal daughter and took care of her nurture her in the fear and the knowledge of God when she grew up she became a queen but this man did not leave her told her be there remember your identity remember your background remember your God that often child you are underlooking she will defend your clan. She will defend your household. She will defend you. Like Esther defended the Israelites. That child, if you raise well, will never disappoint you. Will never reject you. Maybe your wife is a orphan. And you feel like the father is not there to rebuke you. But I'm going to tell you. If you take good care of that wife <laughs> as an orphan girl <laughs> and also <laughs> as your wife, <laughs> that woman will lift you up. <laughs> Defend the cause of the helpless. <laughs> I want to bring <laughs> another story <laughs> of Tama. <laughs> where the lineage of Jesus came from. She got married to the, the son of Judah. And the son was wicked. And died. And Judah refused to bring the second son to take over her. But the lineage of Jesus came through her when she was rejected and chased away. Another story I want to bring of Rahab. A prostitute. But Israelites trusted her the way she was. Maybe you're a prostitute. Maybe you're the worst sinner. On earth. Maybe you're helpless and hopeless. Maybe everybody in the area is laughing at you. But I want to tell you to depend on God. To look to God. To trust in God. And people out there don't down look at prostitutes. That one who has children with different men. She don't know why she went to live like that. God can still use her. And the Bible shows us the, the Bible shows us that Jesus Christ came through that lineage. Your lineage may be dirty. Your background may be dirty. But you can turn to God like the way this woman turned to God. And took care of the servants of God and they made a covenant with and her and say your household will be saved. You prostitute. You are the one who can save your home. You prostitute. God loves you. You thief. God loves you. You a wicked person. God loves you. You a witch doctor. God loves you. Just stand to him. He will use you to save your clan. He will use you to save your household. The last example I want to give is Ruth who was not even an Israelite. 
dana mesa. She was she was from mob. I know dana me mob. But she decided. Ento ento mokota mere. To walk with a widow. Me would get a doctor. She was also a widow. And now no be doctor. But she said I will walk with this and widow. And Ekoniana would get a doctor. I will doctor. trust in our God. I get no ba mere. Ruth chapter one verse sixteen. La buka lusi tiora tiensi. Says. Eko boni. But Ruth replied. Ento Ruth eko boni. Don't urge me to leave you. Ento it ko bani awe. Or turn back from you. You are my Yahweh. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me. I beat even severely. If even death separates you and me. Can you beto and opo hakedi? This woman Dahoni was hopeless. I don't think you you are hopeless like Ruth. They didn't have houses to oh, sleep in. They didn't have food. She did not have a father-in-law to defend her. She did not have a husband to defend her. She did not have a brother-in-law to defend her. She was hopeless. But she decided I am going to trust a widow also who fears the the most I go where she goes I will go I want to tell you my friend don't give up in life don't just sit and wait go and join with people who fear God go and join with a church that fear God and trust in the Lord and God will lift you up and the Bible says the mother-in-law made her to get married in a great a great way. And that is where Jesus Christ and came from. That is where Jesus Christ came from. My sister, Amina. my brother, Amina. turn to God. He's ready to defend you. He's ready to lift you up. He's ready to encourage you. He's ready to support you. He's ready to, su to surprise the world through you. Trust in the Lord. Again, what? Like the way Ruth trusted in the Lord. If you continue to read, she worked very hard. She worked picking the leftovers. But she was joyful. She was trusting in the Lord. And respecting the mother-in-law. My, my married friends out there. Oh, Respect your mothers-in-law. They may be weak, but they will bless you. They will speak for you. They will defend you. Like the way. Ruth was defended. As I am concluding, I want to conclude in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 34. Praise the Lord. Amen. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Why are you worrying? You're thinking you don't have a house. You're thinking you have not married. You're thinking about how they've chased you from your marriage. You've been in that marriage 20 years. You've been in that marriage 10 years ago. Maybe five years or two years. But you've gone out empty-handed. I want to tell you, God is saying, do not worry about tomorrow. Do not worry about your next step. God has taken care of you. Just worship him. Just trust in him. Just depend on him. Just look to him. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. He is worthy to be trusted. David said, 
I look to the hills. I look to the mountains. I look to the valleys. Where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. Maybe you can trace all around you. You see nobody bother to help you. You have no hope. But the author of life, the God who knows tomorrow, is saying, do not worry about tomorrow. Do not worry about what to eat and drink. Do not worry about the future of your children. If he made a orphan girl like Esther to be a queen, then what about you? Are you going to go? Our God is fair. And it does not change. It does not change. Just trust in him. And he will guide your path. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, a friend of mine sent for me this last evening. Uh, I just want it to be like your prayers. Uh, baby, you can also go to the book of Psalms chapter 119. Iraunda wari jabuli miyache la para bongwen. Verse 136. Ndiyeng miyache li pira dehabishe. But this is just a prayer for you. Eto manu pero kalego piri. And also a question to you. If I die now. Kako na toho kwa ishan. Where will I go? A word kara kwene. Or I want to speak to that person. If your father dies now, which God forbid, he may not die. Don't. But if he dies now, where is your hope? If what you trust and depend on very much goes away today, how will you live? Why are you trusting on things that perish? Why can't you trust in the Lord that does not perish? My dear husband yesterday was telling us Reverend James Okalo Reverend Dr. James He said that what we do last above us Last longer than us. If you write a book, you will die today. But your book will remain there. Even your saying will remain there. Maybe the trees you have planted will remain there. But you will die today. And you are no more. People will not touch you. People will not hear what you say. They will not come to respect you. They will not come to seek your advice. If everything you trust die today. Are you going to die with them? My brother, my sister, turn to God. Trust in this God. He remains and does not die. This is the question I give to you. If you yourself die today, where will you go? And this is the saying that I wanted to bring to you. Rivers of water run down from my eyes. In my distress, I cry to you. Consider my affliction and deliver me. Revive me according to your word. Let my cry come before you, O oh Lord. Let my supplication come before you. I have gone astray like a sheep Like a lost sheep. I seek you, O oh Lord. No one to help me. And remember me. This could be your prayers. Maybe you are crying day and night. I want to tell you cry to God. It can revive you. It can consider your affliction. It can deliver you. It can 
defend you but bring your supplication before God. Cry to God for every sin you have committed. Cry to God for the sin of your family. Turn to him and he will renew your strength. I just want to invite you if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. If you want to give your burden and problems to Jesus Christ, I want you to pray this prayer with me and trust in him. Let's humble ourselves and we pray. You say, Heavenly Father, I come to you this morning. I've been trusting so many things in this life. I've been trusting myself. I've been trusting my parents. My children. My husband. My wife. But I want to turn to you this morning. And I say, I want to trust you an everlasting father. Today, accept me as your child. Write my name in the book of life. Forgive all my sins. And Satan, I denounce you. And I've given my life to Jesus Christ. From today onwards, I will take you, Lord, as my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name. I want to pray for those who are afflicted. Father, in the name of Jesus, your word says that you are going to stand and defend the helpless. You are going to defend them. As you defended Anna in the Bible. When she came to you that she was childless. And abused. You had a cry. And you gave her a wonderful son Samuel. Who defended the Israelites. Right now I pray for that one who is feeling rejected. Who is looking at herself to be helpless and hopeless. I pray in the name of Jesus. That defender. As you have said in the book of 1 Corinthians. That you, are, you pick the, the useless or the foolish. To ashamed those who are wise. Pick that one Lord. Pick that one that is hopeless. Pick that one that is worried. Pick that one Jesus Christ. Pick that girl. Pick that boy. Pick that woman. Pick that man. Pick that widow. And lift them up for the glory of your name. Even that one that is sick, heal, heal that one and use that person for the glory and the honor of your name. I thank you because there's nothing impossible with you. I worship you, Lord. I adore you, Lord. I honor you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage you if you have prayed that prayers. Be close to church. Maybe the church is closed now. But look for a man or a woman of God to encourage you and support you. God will not leave you. God will defend you. God will be with you. God will bless you. God will use you like he has used David.